गुड इवनिंग प्रभाकर वर्मा जी गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग ओके कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑन सिक्योरिंग ऑल इंडिया रैंक फोर विथ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू thank you sir thank so you so we are proud to say that you have taken mains live classes postal coaching online test series and interview guidance program okay briefly about yourself uh, sir my name is prabhakar verma i belong to shavasti district of uttar pradesh i did my schooling from home district itself then i uh, came to delhi to complete my graduation i did btech in electrical engineering uh and after that i joined two private firms bharti airtel limited and uh, hd media limited mm. as soft, software engineer mm. and then i left uh, my job and started uh, preparation for uh, engineering services as well as civil services and uh, this was my third attempt earlier i could not clear prelims and uh, last year i uh, went up to the interview level and then this year i secured fourth rank in the first attempt not cleared prelims Yes, second sir. attempt also not cleared prelims no sir in the first attempt i could not clear prelims in the ah. second attempt i uh, uh, cleared prelims as well as mains but ah. i could not uh, clear the final uh, interview round so step by step <laughs> yes sir int ke upar is yes sir okay uh, okay so with respect to prelims exam or mains whatever it may be what is the major change in your preparation strategy from first attempt to the last attempt uh, sir in the prelims uh, uh, in the very first attempt my target was just to clear prelims just to mm. clear the cut off so mm. the cut off was uh, uh, about 217 marks i think in the 28 19 yeah. so my target was uh, 220 marks yeah. so the target was less uh, so uh, with that target i could secure only 187 marks and i i was not able to clear prelims so this year uh, uh, in the last year i uh, my target was actually 250 marks so i was not targeting to clear prelims but the i was actually targeting to clear this exam uh, altogether altogether so yes. aim high aim yes, high aim high. high yes sir okay. okay uh, then how many marks you got in general studies paper uh, now finally uh, sir finally uh, i uh, i got about uh, 80 or 81 marks in okay. the technical uh, paper yes yeah, yes in the technical paper i found it a little bit difficult this year and uh, in the technical paper uh, i uh, got 190 marks about okay. So total, it was about two hundred and forty-nine marks. Yeah. So my, yes, sir. My target. Uh-huh. Was you reached your target of around two fifty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So coming to the mains exam, mains exam. What was your preparation strategy? Sir, last year I got only two hundred and seventy marks in the mains exam. Uh-huh. So this year uh, my target was uh, to cross the three hundred and fifty marks uh, mm. so that. i could clear mains as well as the interview so that i could get uh, my name in the list mm. uh, so i targeted uh, 350 and out of that uh, equally uh, in the paper 1 and the paper 2 uh, so uh, and i was able to manage uh, to get 370 marks approximately wow great yes sir yes sir uh, so the strategy was actually simple uh, and Uh, last year i uh, uh, received the uh, postal course of this ace engineering and i could not actually complete uh, the previous year as well as the uh, other uh, for the i could not actually manage to complete all of them all of the mm-hmm. subjects there are 13 to 14 subjects so i could only uh, complete i could complete only uh, four or five subjects but this year my target was to complete all of them as well as the previous year questions because um, most of the previous year questions are being repeated in the uh, engineering services almost so maximum questions are getting repeated yes sir yes sir. a lot of questions are getting repeated every year so i targeted to complete uh, the previous year as well as uh, the uh, ace uh, material uh, what i received through postal courses okay. you want to say that uh, practicing and revising previous questions 
is very important yes sir it is very important it will uh, give uh, us idea about the uh, type of questions that are being asked uh, as well as the uh, level of questions the toughness level because we uh, study uh, uh, in the classroom or in the we practice the questions so we do not know actually what what uh, will be asked in the real exam so by solving the previous question we get uh, the idea about the actual exam or the actual uh, type of questions that will be asked in the exam i forgot to ask uh, actually earlier uh, whether time was sufficient in the prelims exam to solve the complete paper yes sir in the prelims the prelims is objective so the uh, there is a uh, importance of time in the uh, technical paper Uh-huh. not in the first paper first paper yeah. many of the students are able to complete the paper uh-huh. on time okay. yes. yes sir in the second we need to uh, just uh, we need to run and run in the whole paper so uh, i my approach was to solve the whole paper in the uh, three iterations so in the three paper, iterations yes. what is the first iteration sir in the very first iteration i solve only the question where the time uh, is less time consumed is less where i can actually by just looking at, at the question i could solve it yeah. it's it's not taking much time so okay. if, if uh, i know the question and i am able to solve it in very uh, minimum time so i attempt this question so in the actual exam this year i uh, solved about 85 to 87 questions in the very first iteration okay. and then what is second iteration sir second iteration actually was uh, regarding the questions that i know i know the answer but it it uh, in the first hey, iteration, first yes sir it was taking time time consuming yes sir time consuming questions uh-huh. so i attempted it and uh, uh, i found only 17 to 18 questions like that yes sir and uh, the rest uh, i i attempted uh, uh, about 108 questions in the a uh, second paper in all three rounds all the three rounds okay yes sir and uh, the, yes sir the, the remaining question i solved by techniques by few techniques that i learned during the test series of mm-hmm. great so you focused very well and you have mentally prepared what to attempt in the first yes. iteration second third excellent yes sir, yes sir and my uh, focus unique, was uh, you yes. followed a unique uh, um, strategy Yes. yes. So coming to the interview, how many marks you got in personality test? Sir, so in the personality test, I uh, secu- I got only one zero eight marks last year, and this year I got one hundred and twenty ah. marks. Hundred. This time one twenty ka marks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good score. Good score. So any questions on current affairs? Uh, no sir no question was from current affair and no question was from uh, daf daf itself ah. so my whole interview about 90 to 95% interview was regarding the uh, technical part technical part means uh, the company where you work are purely btech subjects or mtech subjects uh, sir few questions sir i worked at bharti airtel and it is a telecom company Yes. So the first question was related to five G technology that I already technology. yes sir uh, and the it was not a normal question it was the for example the question was uh, uh, like okay uh, uh, if we use five G technology in our uh, mobile then what will it will we uh, require to change the battery capacity or is there any uh, uh, need to change the charging mechanism or etc the question was related to 5g technology as well as the battery capacity on battery uh, the impact of 5g technology on battery uh-huh. yes sir the, then the interview was uh, went on like that and the supplementary questions were regarding the battery the charging mechanism etc okay after completion of interview how you felt comfortable Yes, sir. I felt comfortable. Uh, my uh, the my experience this year was very good, and uh, uh, I I thought that I would uh, secure. Definitely going to crack it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, not sir. Uh, not cracking this exam, but I uh, was uh, sure about the interview marks. I was actually targeting hundred and thirty marks, but I mm-hmm. got only okay. hundred and twenty. Yeah, one twenty is good. Twenty is so. How the board members treated you? Friendly. Yes, uh, frankly, all of them are very, very nice, and 
uh, actually they were very friendly and the questions were very uh, they started with very simple questions like the full form of cgpa Mm. And then they went up to uh, okay, uh, is there any relationship between percentage and uh, CGP? And then when they went to ask uh, the questions like uh, how uh, your marks are decreasing year by year, what's uh, the reason from the tenth and twelfth, and then graduation? So the the questions were like that only, uh, and uh, they were very nice. They were very nice. So. At any point of time, whether you could not answer a question, and what was your uh, feeling or emotion when you couldn't answer? Uh, yes, uh, the, uh, in the starting of the interview, uh, my interaction with the while well, I I was interacting with the chairperson, and she asked uh, one simple question uh, like, uh, uh, "What will you do uh, if you join this service? Uh, mm. What will you do? You uh, may tell me uh, what will you." Do uniquely that others will not do. Uh, wow. the, yes. <laughs> What sir. was your answer? And uh, she, sir, uh, I answered these questions like uh, I will focus on the. I am targeting the CPES Center for Engineering Service. Mm -hmm. So my focus area would be the. Uh, uh, well, I'll I'll be uh, policy maker. Then my uh, area would be how will I improve the uh, generating capacity in the uh, uh, renewable sectors. And I was actually telling the targets that we we are going to achieve in next ten years. And then she told me, "Okay, I'm not uh, asking any political answers." And then uh, suddenly I realized, "Okay, I I was just uh, telling the targets that we as a whole nation uh, are targeting to achieve." But she was asking the question that I will what I will do personally. So I got confused in the uh, first instance. Uh, then she asked again, and then I uh, answered it. Uh, What was the first option in the DAF? Yes, a center for engineering service. Ah, otherwise, na, they would have caught you. So your first option was central power engineering. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good, uh, Mr. Prabhakar. Hmm? Yes. What your message to your juniors? Uh, sir, actually. Uh, the when i was uh, appearing in the prelims then my most of my seniors uh, told me that okay there are uh, very less seats uh, 2025 seats are there then you should not actually target this exam you should better prepare the irms or better wait uh, wait for irms or any other target any another exam so my message would be uh, don't uh, afraid of it, uh, about it uh, don't afraid of it And just uh, target uh, the exam and focus on the each and every level of the exam, like prelims, mains, and then interview. And uh, don't uh, uh, worry much about the number of seats and just number of vacancies. Yes, yes, uh, number of vacancies. Vacancies are reducing, and it's a fact now. So it's better to target uh, the exam and forget about the seats or uh, vacancies. Great, Prabha Karji. Huh? Congratulations yeah. once again. Pranams. Namaste, namaskaram to your parents too. Okay, God bless you, beta. God bless. Thank you, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you so much.